Hello and welcome to Entrance, a hypnotic meditation library which acts as a gateway to help you discover your deeper self. These recordings are of a hypnotic nature and should not be used while driving a car or operating machinery. Please use common sense and only use the appropriate Entrance volumes in appropriate places and environments to ensure safety. Please seek professional advice if you are receiving treatment for any clinical diagnosed disorder before using Entrance. Before we begin this journey deep into your subconscious mind, I want you to know that self-hypnosis, like all hypnosis, is voluntary. And if for any reason you want or need to become wide awake, you can do so easily and calmly at any point. Before we begin, you may wish to loosen any tight clothing or footwear. Entrance is produced to be listened to on stereo headphones. The tones library may be used on loudspeakers in a quiet environment. You may wish to close your eyes for each session or fix a daydream stare on a comfortable spot in front of you until your eyes are closing, whichever is the most comfortable for you to relax. Close your eyes now and relax and take a deep breath and a second deep breath. And on your third deep breath, hold it for about three seconds. And exhale and relax. And now I'd like you to open your eyes whilst keeping your head facing straight. I'd like you to focus your eyes on the spot on the wall or the ceiling in front of you. Keeping your head straight, I want you to focus your eyes on that spot. Your eyes to focus upwards, whilst your head is facing straight. Don't focus too hard, just look at it in a lazy and relaxed way. In just a moment, we're going to count from 20 down to 1. And as we do, on each number that I say, you will close your eyes for a silent count of three, down to one. And you'll allow your eyes to open again, looking ahead at your chosen spot. It will go like this. Close your eyes. Twenty, three, two, one. Allow your eyes to reopen. Nineteen, close your eyes. Three, two, one. One, and open, and so on. And as you continue closing and opening your eyes, your eyes will become very tired. And soon, maybe at 17, maybe at 15, maybe even at 10, your eyes will become tired, and you'll not want to open them anymore. It will become inconvenient, tiring, and when that happens, just allow your eyes to stay closed. And you continue to relax deeper and deeper. So now, let's go ahead and begin. 20. Count silently to yourself. 3, 2, 1. 19. 18. Tired and drowsy. 17. 16, eyelids so very heavy, 15, 14, allow your eyes to remain closed as soon as you feel like it, 13, 12, just let yourself go. 11. 
10, 9, and deeper, and deeper, 8, 7, 6, let your eyelids become very, very heavy. Five. Four. Three. Your eyes are wanting to remain shut now. Two. Finally, one, close your eyes all the way now, that's good, now keep your eyes closed, and continue to relax, deeper, and deeper. As you continue to relax, I want you to now use your imagination. Imagine yourself lying on the grass in a soft green meadow. The sun is shining gently and there is an easy breeze blowing over your body. You continue feeling more comfortable and at ease. Beautiful flowers are blooming all around you. You see the flowers moving gently in the breeze. Notice the wonderful fragrance of the flowers. Now, in your mind, I want you to stand up. Look to the north and see the beautiful mountain at the end of this meadow. Let's take a trip up that mountain. You look around and notice an easy flowing stream to the right of you. You are walking over to the stream. You bend over and put your hand in the water. You notice the water is pure, clean, cool and refreshing. Listen to the gentle flow of the rapids. Since the stream seems to come from the mountains, you follow the stream up into the mountains. As you walk along, Following the stream, you come to a pond at the head of the stream. You bend over and put your hand into the water and you notice it is nice and warm, since at this level of your mind, you are an excellent swimmer. You decide to get in the water and swim for a brief time. You can feel the warm water surrounding your body as you quietly move through the water. It feels so refreshing and so enjoyable, but it's time to get out now and continue moving up the mountain. As you climb, you can hear the birds chirping. You smell the pine trees. Once in a while, you can still see the meadow in small openings between the trees. You're halfway up the mountain now. You notice a fallen tree over on the left, and you decide to stop and rest. The meadow below is in full view from here. The scene is really beautiful. Now it's time to continue on up the mountain. You can imagine how beautiful it will be to be at the top and to be able to look down into the meadow below. The breeze is blowing gently and you can notice the smell of the small cedar trees as we are nearing the top of the mountain. Just a few more steps and you'll be at the top. You finally made it. You can see the deep canyon on the other side. And from this side you can see the meadow below. Just ahead. 
you notice a sign there on top of the mountain. You walk over to it, and you notice that it says, ask the questions you want answered most here at the peak. And by the time you descend, the answers will begin to flow. You are deciding the most important question that you want to speak at the peak. As soon as you make that decision, you ask the question and then look to the flat land echoing out at the bottom of the mountain. For that's where you need to find your answer. Now, it's time to go back down the mountain and return to the meadow. You can notice the sun beginning to set on the hills on the left. You still have plenty of time to get down before it gets dark. But you need to be on your way down. As you're going down, you notice a few deer off in the forest. You're halfway down now. You pause for a few minutes and sit on the fallen tree again. You can see the beautiful sunset as it is forming. Now, you continue moving on down. You can hear the birds chirping. Now, you come to the pond and we can see the reflection of the sunset on the surface of the water. You continue on, following the beautiful, refreshing stream. Now you're back in the meadow, and you lie down in the comfortable grass again. You can smell the fragrance on the flowers, and now you are ready to receive your answers from your subconscious mind, and to take more positive, hypnotic suggestion. mind can drift anywhere pleasant that it wishes, whilst your subconscious mind becomes absent while you're awake. It listens, it hears, it understands, it believes my every safe, sensible suggestion, and I am what it means. The subconscious mind knows, and because the subconscious mind knows, Conscious mind right now, right now does not need to know. So, so it can either listen, listen or not listen. listen. You have an awareness in your subconscious mind that you don't have in your conscious conscious mind. You can remember everything that has ever happened with your subconscious mind. In any problems that the mind has created can indeed be solved by, by the same, same mind. mind. Consciously, you can't remember them not at all. Four things at a time. So you can forget them so easily. easily. And with forgetting certain things, you can, you can remember other things. Forgetting what you can forget, remembering what you can remember, it doesn't matter if you temporarily forget, because right now, you need not remember. Because your subconscious mind remembers, and knows everything that your conscious mind needs to know. Needs to know. You have the solutions to your problems already. And whilst there may be many shades of grey, grey, essentially, they all need a dark light. So you can let your conscious mind drive, drive. Not, not bothering to listen as your subconscious mind becomes wide awake and listen, listen. And hears and understands and believes by every safe, safe, helpful suggestion and what it means. 
and tra transfers those new beliefs to the conscious mind, the emotional mind, and the physical body, so that they can understand and believe and act accordingly in a helpful and safe and beneficial way. And you have now become so deeply relaxed that in that indeed every safe and helpful thing that I say, and what it means, will seep so very, very deeply into the subconscious part of your mind and then will cause such a deep and lasting and beneficial impression that no other person, no happening, and no event could ever change the positive and helpful suggestions that will be put into your subconscious mind. This, this will continue to happen to you more and more positively, more and more and more powerfully, every day, regardless of where you are, and regardless of whatever else may be happening around you. Imagine a ball of pure energy or white light that starts at your lower abdomen. And as you inhale, it rises up the front of your body to your forehead. And as you exhale, it moves down your spine, down your legs, and into the ground. Again, imagine this ball of pure energy or white light rising up the front of your body to your forehead as you inhale. As you exhale, it goes down your spine, down your legs, and into the ground. Circulate this ball of energy around for a few moments, and allow its circulation to move you into even more relaxation and comfort. Each time as you inhale and exhale, you may be surprised to find yourself twice as relaxed as you were a moment before, twice as comfortable, twice as peaceful. With each breath, every cell of your body becomes at ease. As any tension tightens, pain or discomfort drains down your spine, down your legs, and away into the ground. Continue to circulate this ball of energy around and through your body for a few moments more. Imagine a silver point about a meter above your head. Tune into your higher consciousness by focusing your mind on this silver point above your head. Visualize a beautiful violet cone of light streaming out of your head up to the silver point. Experience all of your mental energy being drawn up with the light towards the silver point. Now, imagine that everything about you is at that point of awareness. From that one point, you see everything. The point has many facets, and you can move around it, and look out at your world. You can reflect outwards, like a crystal, and the aspects that you see are crystal clear. Imagine the warm sunlight reflecting into your crystal, creating a rainbow of colors. Now, you are the sunlight. You are being drawn higher and higher. You are the sunlight that reflects onto your crystal that sends down a beam of violet light into yourself. Up here you are aware 
that it is your thoughts that are doing the thinking, not you. Your mind sometimes entertains a single thought, and at other times, there may be a variety of thought forms, drifting in and out of your mind. But your mind is not you. At this moment in time, your mind is not even a part of you. Your thoughts are separate from your physical body. Now, see the violet beam of light dissolving. The crystal, however, is still there. One crystal with many sides, many facets, and many aspects. You are acutely aware that there is just one. See the number one. One single entity. This pure thought form with many sides, many facets, and many aspects. Up here, you are that one entity. Because you are one. And it is one. And all is one. One. Focus on the word. One. The number one. The highest form of spirit is one. And you are part of one. I want you now to imagine a sound. A single sound. The sounds of the universe and all creation are incorporated into one here. One sound. One tune. One word. One. Remain in this state of oneness for several minutes. As you look down onto the many facets of the crystal, you can focus your mind on one particular era from the many parts of life that you have lived before. See yourself as you were then, young or old, man or woman, or perhaps something totally different. When you have this image clearly in your mind, allow your conscious energy to move towards this other you and experience your life as it was then. Look around you first and notice all of your surroundings. Perhaps you were drawn to a particular time in history or maybe you moved to your future life. You can see everything here that you need to see. It's as though you are watching yourself, but experiencing yourself, both at the same time. There may be questions you wish to ask of yourself, such as why am I here? What is my purpose in this life? Am I happy or sad? And the answers to any questions that you have will spontaneously spring to mind. Don't question how you know, just accept the responses that are given. You may wish to move further through this life to experience yourself as five or ten years older or younger. Notice now how the jigsaw begins to fit together. A multi-dimensional jigsaw with so many facets just like the crystal you saw. A lifetime can flash by in seconds, or a second can seem like a film in slow motion. And in hypnosis, we can lose all perception of time. In just a few moments, we will return back from the oneness, but you will remember the feeling. You will remember the answers and the information that you have received. Slowly returning back into your body, 
down along the violet beam into your body, energy circulating and flowing through your body, slowly back into your physical self. Each of these ideas has made a vivid and permanent impression on your subconscious mind. And each day in your daily life, you become more and more aware of the full, powerful and creative expression of these ideas. It's time to come back to the present now, out of this deep relaxation. The subconscious mind will begin to transfer all of the beneficial new learnings you've made to the conscious mind, the emotional mind, and the physical body. And as the unconscious mind now begins to start that transfer, I will begin to bring you back. In just a few moments, you are going to wake up. I'm going to count from one to five. At the count of five, you are going to come back to the here and now, feeling wide awake, feeling wonderful in every way, feeling so much calmer than before. One. Start to wake up and emerge from hypnosis. Two, feeling wonderful awake in every way. Three, coming back to the here and now and sensing the room around you. Four, your eyes are beginning to open now as you wake. And five, eyes wide open, wide awake and feeling wonderful in every way. Thank you for using Entrance.